Hi gang, I'm Ross the Boss. The NBA is back. Now we can finally talk about fantasy basketball. I'm excited, you're excited, everyone's excited, you know it. Comedian Alonzo Bowden is gonna stop by this episode to discuss the upcoming season. The MFS and crew is gonna tell you what you can expect out of the fantasy basketball season, what types of leagues you might find, how the scoring works. You know the basics. You have not subscribed, but you, you wanna become a better fantasy basketball manager click now so you better click it now ross the boss is telling you to click now and if you want notifications you click it if you have questions just comment below i'll write you back i love talking basketball with you cowboy <laughs> because guess who's back everybody it's one of our favorite comedians alonzo bowden alonzo welcome back <laughs> What's up, guys? I am back. It's it's nice to see that Cavs jersey. You know, someone has to believe. So why not? Yeah, and good for you. This is actually a Mark day. Price. This is a Mark Price shirt, so it goes way oh, back. I, you, you know, I feel like I can back pull that. In the day, back in, so when someone wears a That's Jordan right. jersey, if you see a Jordan jersey, you just flinch, don't you? You just just takes you. You back know, to I, <laughs> I I actually love Jordan. I, I love I love him, but I did go through a period where I hated him. It was he just tortured us. But looking back on it, it was amazing. Yeah, all right, those so were listen. great days. Those those honestly were great days in the NBA. We could talk all night about who from that era could play today and who from today who could play in that era. I think that was the best era ever. But now we're turning our attention to the next season. The NBA season begins December 22nd, so this is absolutely time the time to get everyone prepared for their draft. And you know what? With COVID going on, everybody's at home, what's better than play fantasy basketball? Okay, so here we go with our draft special. We were already here with Ross the Boss. We met Alonzo Bowden. He's back with us. We also have Casey Scheinvold, fantasy pros expert Andrew Seifter, and DC correspondent Lauren Auerbach. Welcome, everybody. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. we got to orient the audience to what is this fantasy basketball thing. I don't know how many people play fantasy basketball. I know it is the uh, the poor stepchild to uh, football and, and baseball, but Alonzo, how familiar are you with this? Well, I know people who play fantasy sports. My problem with fantasy sports, I don't have the time. You, it takes a lot of time to follow the players and the draft and the pick and all that. I mean, if you turn it over and just let your computer do it, you could do it that way, but then what fun is that? You're just watching. So, uh, no, I don't, I'm not a big fantasy sports player, but I get it. I get why people do it. Everyone Alonzo, you're, you're a comic. You work one hour a day. How hard is it to play <laughs> fantasy basketball? You don't have a life. You can play it's fantasy not... basketball. You're stuck at home. There's an order. You can't go outside for three weeks in Los Angeles. You have to be doing something. Fantasy basketball is what you should be doing. No, Ross, what I'm doing is looking for work to replace all the work I can't oh, do. Oh, yeah, good I idea. I got bills to pay, my friend. You're right, you're right, you're right. All okay, right, I got to do uh, daily <laughs> fantasy point. sports next, next to money there. But, you, you know, the big difference between basketball and football is this. Basketball, there's games every night. And you can you can go on the waiver wire. You can pick up players. You can drop players. There's a there, every day you can do that. In football, it's different. There's you know in basketball this year there's going to be I believe the schedule is going to be 70 games, uh, and then there's going to be playoffs starting in May. So you're basically playing a season through May. And I looked at the schedule. There's a lot of back to back games. A lot of a lot of stuff going on in in fantasy basketball that you got to be aware of. But the most important thing about fantasy basketball is this is the categories that count in your league. So when you're signing up for a league, make sure you look at do steals count, do assists count, defensive rebounds, offensive rebounds, turnovers. What, what exactly all the stat categories that are in your league? If that's the most important thing you should be aware of first, then you can start drafting. So guys, but, let's talk about that. Let's talk about what is in a typical league. And uh, Alonzo, I know you don't play, so we're not going to ask you this one. I'll come back to you at another time. Uh, Andrew, talk talk to us a little bit. You're our fantasy pros expert, so you tell us what's a typical league. Sure. So, yeah, I mean, I, I totally concur with what Ross was saying there. I think that uh, basketball, more than any other sport, is really the value of the players is really dependent on the type of league that you're in, uh, more so than like PPR versus standard in football. It's just it's on another level. So uh, the most common category leagues are, you know, what's called eight category or nine category. Uh, and the difference is whether you count turnovers. But, um, you know, f first of all, there's, uh, you know, the popcorn stats, I like to call them, which are like points and rebounds and assists. 
Uh, but and those are the stats that you know people that don't follow basketball that much will know about. But then there's so many other important ones. Uh, you know the efficiency stats are really important. So turnovers are important. F- field goal percentage is important. Free throw percentage is important. And then there's the defensive stats. So there's steals and blocks. Uh, and those those ones often a lot of you know as we get to the conversation you'll see a lot of my favorite underrated players or players that give you uh, those kind of stats because they're the ones that people tend to not value as much but they count equally in the game that we play Uh, and then there's kind of the lesser version which is just a points league and then that that just means that you just each of these things has a point value and you add up the numbers uh it's not as fun that way though no i'm I'm gonna tell you right now free throw percentage doesn't matter in the actual league who the hell cares in the fantasy world have you seen how bad people are shooting free throws now nobody can nobody's benched for missing free throws Anymore. Well, the bench, they'll be benched for my fantasy team now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're going to drop LeBron because he can't shoot free throws? <laughs> I might draft him a little later than I would otherwise. Especially in the it fourth really quarter. It really is true. It brings his value down. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to log off now. <laughs> I forgot three pointers. I was going to say, did we, did we win you over? You guys, I didn't know you guys were drinking before you did this show. So. <laughs> Lauren, let me turn it to you for a sec. Can you talk a little bit about the difference between a rotisserie league and a head-to-head league? We want the audience to really understand that. Some of you out there do know these things, but for those of you who don't, Lauren, take it away. Yeah, I mean, a head-to-head league is when you're going up on against a, another player in your league uh, once a week, you and you, you collect your points for the entire week. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of a little similar to um, baseball in certain, in certain ways. Um, and then with the rotisserie, actually, I don't know that much about rotisserie, but I do know head to head. Oh, wow. Um, this is so, interesting. I, I picked on the wrong person. Yeah. Casey, I'm going to turn it over. Let's save Lauren. Let's save Lauren. Oh. Casey, tell, tell the difference between rotisserie and well, head to head. A head to head league, uh, league, you go up week, week by week against a different uh, manager of another team in the league. And let's say it's a nine category league. And, and Andrew talked about some of those stats. Um, you either win a category for that week against the other manager or you lose it. And then at the end of the week, whoever has the most wins, categorical wins, wins that matchup. Um, as, as far as a rotisserie league, a standard rotisserie league, it's uh, kind of cumulative throughout the year and you're, you're, you're ranked based on your finish with cumulative stats over everybody else in the league. And so In, in each stat. In each so stat, and so it's a ranking. Like, it's, so if there's nine stats and and twelve teams in a league, if you win that stat, you get twelve points, and then whoever comes in second gets eleven and ten, and so on and so forth. And then at the end of the season, you add up all of the points you've earned or, or your rank points in each category, and whoever ends up with the most cumulative points that way wins the league. So there you have it. A little insight into the types of fantasy basketball leagues you might find. If you have not yet subscribed, hit that button and ring the bell for notifications.